dispositional explanations of obedience. So that is the authoritarian personality. So you could be asked a question about the authoritarian personality or equally you could be asked a question about dispositional explanations of obedience. And you need to be aware that they both relate to the authoritarian personality. So Adorno proposed the idea of an authoritarian personality. So it's an innate personality. It's within the person. And obedience is caused by personality factors rather than situational or social factors. And he measured it using components of components of authoritarian personality using the F scale. He said that authoritarian people are rigid thinkers who obey authority. They see everything as black and white. They don't see any sort of shades of grey. It's right or wrong. And they follow strict adherence to social rules and the hierarchy within society. Adorno claimed it could be caused by over strict parenting and uh, authoritarian personalities learn their strict obedience from their parents. And as a result, the child's hostility to parents is displaced onto weaker people as a result of scapegoating. Now, this was developed a little bit more by the right wing authoritarian. So Altmaier redefined the concept of authoritarian personality by identifying a cluster of three personality variables that he referred to as right wing authoritarianism. So according to Altmaier, those with a right wing authoritarian personality trait possess three important personality characteristics that makes them more likely to be obedient. So conventionalism, they adhere to conventional norms and values quite strictly. Authoritarian aggression, they feel aggressive towards people that violate those social norms. And authoritarian submission, they have uncritical submission to legitimate authority. So they follow a legitimate authority regardless. They don't um, think about why they might be doing so. So we have some supporting evidence by Elms and Milgram, and they found that higher authoritarian levels in the 20 most obedient participants compared with the 20 disobedient participants. So those that were most obedient in Milgram's research had higher authoritarian personalities. Got other explanations, so social context might be more important than personality factors. So remember, Milgram argued that um, proximity, uniform and location have a massive impact on obedience levels and they might be a better predictor of obedience than um, a dispositional personality trait. It's not particularly useful as it can't explain um, Nazi Germany, it can't explain why individuals um, displayed the behaviour they did. It is highly unlikely that they all, uh, an entire country, would have an authoritarian personality. Um, situational factors and social factors might be uh, more of a valid argument as to why these uh, this event happened. Uh, it has methodological problems. So the way the F scale is designed, it means that F, all of the questions are worded in the same direction. And it might be that people agree with items um, due to um, a bias. So a tendency to agree with items on a questionnaire, regardless of what the question is asking. So it's the design of the questionnaire isn't um, uh, correct. And it should have different ways of assessing authoritarian personality rather than having them all going in the same uh, direction. So the results from the questionnaire might not be accurate. In terms of a 16 marker, you might get discuss the authoritarian personality as an explanation of obedience. So your two AO1 um, paragraphs, I would do original um, Adorno's authoritarian personality and then move on to how that had been adapted into right wing authoritarian personality by Altmaier as my second AO1 paragraph and then my three to four, but mainly three if I'm going to uh, peel them, evaluation points of supporting evidence and contradictory evidence to this explanation.